James is very active. He loves to play outside with us and his friends and our dog. I'm Jonathan. Uh, this is Emma. I, hi, I'm James. Hi, I'm Victoria. And we're from Graham, Texas. Life was smooth. Not really going through any, like, any difficulties or, you know, just, you have a life of soccer. They're both in school, kids are both in school, and doing great. James's diagnosis happened really quickly. He was playing soccer on Saturday morning. We went to go play at the park afterwards. And then in the evening, he was telling me his legs were really hurting. So we took him to the hospital to have him checked out. When the doctor told me that it could possibly, what it could possibly be, I just was complete shock. Pretty much toward the end of his treatment, he was already in remission and the cancer came back. So at that point, the doctors mentioned a bone marrow transplant. My world just stopped. Uh, I didn't know much about leukemia, and I thought it was the end. Um, my name is Jessica. I am from Somerville, Massachusetts, and I registered to donate in 2011 when I was in college at UMass Amherst. I decided to register because one of my good friends in college, he lost his sister to leukemia. Everyone was super involved with DKMS, um, so it's definitely an organization that's like very near and dear to us. So when I got the call that I was a match, I was at work, um, and it was the same day that my company holds a, um, it's a big fundraiser for cancer research, so I thought that was a funny coincidence, but I got the email that I was a potential match, um, yeah, while I was at work that day, and then I called one of the reps from DKMS and talked to him and found out the whole situation. I think the process was really easy just because people were so helpful like every step of the way. Um, there wasn't any point where I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen just because everyone was like super informative, like told me exactly what was going to happen through the whole process. We heard about the match about two months after we were told that he needed a transplant and we were super happy to find out that she said yes. I wanted to contact the donor as soon as we found out we had a donor. Personally, in my mind, I thought about it every day. I mean, I was so excited to meet this person that was willing to sacrifice, give up their time, and save our son. Becoming part of our family, I mean, this is someone who will always be close for us. Good. I feel really happy. Um, like we were saying, it's you know it's been a year and a half since I donated, and then so it's a lot of waiting to find out who it is and you know to be here in their home today. It's it's crazy. It's very exciting, and I feel very blessed to be here. It's like an amazing opportunity. So I feel I'm super grateful for it. Yeah, I feel the same. And I like when I found out I had a donor, I was very happy and. I wanted to meet my donor like right away. I would definitely encourage people to register and and to donate if given the possibility. I mean the chances of finding a match are so slim so it's like having that opportunity and being able to help someone so I would definitely encourage people to do it and if they have hesitations I feel like there's so much so many people to reach out to that can reassure you.